We present Shadow Guides, a system for in-situ learning of multi-touch and whole hand gestures on interactive surfaces. Multi-touch gestures can be more complex than simple single-touch or pen gestures containing contacts moving relative to each other, shape changes, and dynamic continuation poses. Previous methods for teaching single-touch gestures exist, such as marking menus and dynamic guides, but there are scale problems with these approaches. Also, previous work does not provide methods for guiding all types of movement. We build much of our system around the raw visual input to the Microsoft Surface, our implementation platform. We display an offset version of this user shadow to provide direct feedback on how the system is interpreting the user's interactions. Shadow guides consist of two elements. First, their user shadow annotations, instructions for how to perform the gestures overlaid on the user shadow. Second, the registration pose guide, showing the required initial pose for the available gestures. By displacing the user shadow and its annotations fixed distance, we solve the problem of occlusion. We use annotations that extend previous work on dynamic guides. We add arrows, dynamic pose keyframes, and dynamic markers. For multi-finger gestures, we add arrows. And for dynamic pose shape gestures, we add shape keyframes. Previous work on gesture teaching has only assumed one registration event, placing the finger or pen down on the interface. Dynamic markers in our system express changes in contact with the interface, such as mid-gesture tapping or adding another finger. As opposed to single-touch gestures, there are many possible multi-touch registration poses. In the Registration Pose Guide, the gestures available from that registration pose are listed next to the Registration Poses Diagram. The Registration Poses Diagram highlights what parts of your hand to use and what you should expect to see in your user shadow. To ensure a wide range of multi-touch gestures can be taught effectively with our system, we created a taxonomy that covers the space of multi-touch and whole hand gestures. Extending previous work, we classify gestures by registration pose, continuation pose, and movement. Registration pose is classified as single finger, multi-finger, single shape, or multi-shape. Continuation pose classifies whether the user's contacts move relative to each other, or registration with the surface changes. Gestures may be static or dynamic. Movement classifies whether the hand moves as a whole. Gestures are either no path or path. From our taxonomy, we synthesize a representative gesture set that contains a member from each cell. We make an exception for the single finger, static pose, no path cell. This is reserved for safely invoking the help system without executing a command. The remainder of the gestures are as follows. Pigtail. One finger down, plus tap other. One finger to the right, add second finger, and pull down. Four finger tap. Five finger rotate. Five finger crumple. Two finger pull back and together. Corner hand side. Hand edge swipe. Opening fist. Opening fist plus move left to right. Two palms down, thumbs out. Two hand edges, outward swipe. Two palms down, then stretch fingers. Two palms down, then stretch thumbs and move upwards. For the evaluation, we compared shadow guides to a menu of playable videos. We queued our participants to perform the gestures in eight blocks, where each of the 15 gestures was performed in each block. In the last block, help was made unavailable without notice to serve as a memory test. Participants were allowed several attempts while recalling the gestures in the memory test. We found that number of successes plateaued after four attempts. After the first, and also the fourth attempts, participants who learned through shadow guides were able to perform more of the gestures correctly than those who learned through video. Shadow Guides participants also prefer their help system more in a post-study questionnaire. We have constructed Shadow Guides, an in-situ, multi-touch gesture learning system evaluated with a representative gesture set based on a taxonomy of multi-touch gestures.